Mourners gathered in Oakland's Little Saigon tonight to honor 60-year-old Lily Shu, the latest victim of a deadly violence in that neighborhood. KPIX 5's Andrea Nakano spoke with Shu's friends as the search continues for her killer. Lily Shu was many things. She was a mother and a respected community dentist, but it was through her passion for ballet where friends say she was gracefully chasing a childhood dream. It's like I feel like she was alive. She was, she was with us. She was dancing. She was a swan. You know, she was dancing so beautiful. All of a sudden, she's gone. These memories are one Eve Zhang will cherish of 60 year old Lily Xu. Xu just started taking lessons about five years ago, joining the East Bay Xi Ballet Company. Her instructor, George Xi, is still in disbelief. Until now, I still can't believe. I just still, still alive. Xu and her partner just parked across the street from a massage parlor on Sunday in Little Saigon when a white car pulled up alongside them. In a matter of seconds, two shots struck Xu's back and the suspects drove away. A tragedy that is in stark contrast to a celebration of life that just happened this month. Oh, I also had a birthday scene and her carrying the cake. Very beautiful. A friend taken too soon in another violent attack that has shaken the AAPI community. We just uh, want to stop this uh, tragedy. In Oakland, Andrea Nakano, KPIX 5. That killing is Oakland's 77th homicide of the year, and it comes just over a month after the daylight shooting death of an Uber driver in that same area. An earlier rally organized by Chinatown leaders, residents grabbed the mic to air their frustrations and fears. Why? Why is it happening? One of the ways to address this kind of crime is to have a presence of police in the neighborhood. While the department has moved additional resources to that area, while the department has made some pretty key arrests and other violent incidents that have happened in that area, this unfortunate area in our city continues to be impacted and uh, I'm saddened by, uh, by what we've seen. Tonight, OPD is also looking for this car. Detectives say the white Tesla was traveling down Fifth Avenue toward 880 around the time of the shooting. They want to know if the people inside saw anything that could help with the investigation.